Dr. Victor Davis Hansen, a senior fellow at the Hoover Institution, joins us for the two minutes and 10 seconds we have left. Professor, welcome. Thank you. Uh, well, Tucker, I think that we're, have, we're seeing war clouds gather abroad, and I think the United States economy, politically, foreign policy is at an adhere, and we've lost now all credibility that we've stored up over 233. We have no more moral credibility to lecture people about the democratic process. And your guests have spelled it out pretty well. They have an agenda, the left, that does not appeal to 51% of the people. So they attack the process and they attack the candidate. And what we're seeing is not the end of it. This tonight was the very beginning. This is going to go on through three prosecutors for a year and a half with the intent of getting just enough empathy for Donald Trump that he will be nominated and then seeing him gag ordered, hemorrhaged, and maybe even incarcerated to nullify his viability in the general election. So it's the worst example of third world election tampering. And uh, they don't have a message, and so whether it's symbolically tearing up the State of the Union or denying the Speaker, uh, the Minority Leader in the House uh, appointments or trying to uh, threaten the filibuster to be ended or the Electoral College or pack the court, uh, it's all processed because they don't have a message and they're desperate. They're revolutionaries. We're in the middle of a revolution that we don't even know that we're in. I think Donald Trump said as much as he could, but I imagine that in the next week we'll see a gag order leveled against him, and then the other prosecutors will be encouraged. And this is going to go on. This cycle drama is going to go on for a, a year and a half. Which is entirely the point. Very quickly, is there not a single Democrat in Washington who cares about the country enough to say what you just said? I don't think so. I think some people like Joe Manchin have spoken out, but uh, there's no Democratic Party anymore. It doesn't exist. It's, it, it's not even a progressive party, but it's a woke, hardcore leftist revolutionary movement. It has no popular support, but throughout history, such pop, such movements didn't really need. They didn't need it. They You're got right. power anyway. Richard Davis Hanson, thank you so much.